What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. Today we did get the announcement about the Mid-Year Mayhem PvP event. It will be starting tomorrow, uh, which is Thursday, January the 23rd at 10 a.m. Eastern and running until February the 4th at 10 a.m. Eastern. During this event, of course, you can own bonus rewards, XP, and alliance points by either playing Alliance War, Battlegrounds, or Imperial City. If you are new to this event, I'm going to give you all the details about what you can get and what you can expect from it. If you're not new to the event, there's a few new things that I kind of added in this year, but not a whole lot, kind of the same that we've always kind of seen year in and year out. But if you are new, what you will need to do, of course, is go to the Crown Store and you will see the free kind of little tab up there that gives you the details on the Mid-Year Mayhem event. It will then tell you to travel to your faction's main gate in Cyrodiil from the Alliance War menu. You will locate the NPC and acquire a quest titled the Mid-Year Mayhem. If you completed this quest before, you do not need to do it again, of course. Then you can then you complete the quest to receive your scroll of ferocity and your Mid-Year Boon box. Use the scroll to activate a 2-hour 100% buff to Alliance points and XP from player kills in PvP activities. Be sure to hang on to this uh, of course, this scroll because you can reactivate that every two hours like all the other events that we have as long as the event is going on. If you do happen to get rid of it or delete it or something like that, you can purchase another one for 100 gold or 100 alliance points. Uh, you can claim rewards during this event. Of course, the Legion Zero Outfit Style Pages, the Standard Bearer Emotes, and also the Mid-Year Victoria's Laurel Wreath. If you want to get the Laurel Wreath, Make sure that you do have the Imperial City DLC. If you do not have that and you are new to the game, you can get that free in the Crown Store. But there's a lot of achievements you have to do for that, so you will need that uh, Imperial City DLC to get that wreath completed or the achievements completed. Uh, when in PvP, you will receive these boon boxes. And in order to receive boon boxes, you either have to play Battleground Quest from the Battlemaster or to complete Battleground Quest from the Battlemaster. Scout, Battle, Warfront, and Conquest missions inside of Cyrodiil. Of course, the Elder Scroll Capture and Recapture Quest, Town Quest, and Velastris, Bruma, uh, Bruma, Cropsford, and so on. Of course, the other things you can get is an Imperial City Daily Quest. And once that you uh, complete these, you will receive these boxes that can have transmute crystals, alchemy, flowers, and things you have know, to make potions, PvP consumables such as forward camps, repair kits, and siege weapons. Motif pages for the Alliance and Akavari styles, style items for your Alliance, Akavari style items, Cold Harbor siege weapons, prismatic runes, and also some books that you can put in your house like a housing item, you know, just for, you know, looks and things like that to, you know, just kind of decorate your house with. Also, in addition to this, uh, addition to this during the event, the harvesting nodes within both Cyrodiil and Imperial City drop double their regular resources. Also, the merchant uh, for the golden stocks Alliance War legendary quality jewelry with necklaces during the first week end and rings during the second. Earn event tickets during this as well. Uh, during Doing the same things that I just listed up there, battleground quest, scouting, battlefront, conquest missions in Cyrodiil, uh, capture and request, uh, capture quest, town quest, and imperial city daily quest will net you three event tickets per day per account or not per account but account wide so you're only gonna be able to get three tickets per day uh you know per all of your characters and that will reset every day at 1 a.m eastern you should be able to receive around 39 event tickets if you do this every single day so that's a good bit of event tickets of course you can purchase from the event vendor your normal things like your feathers uh your of course your legendary or your legion zero excuse me outfit style pages uh, of course the emotes the berries of bloom and the berries of budding the event features the first two uh Indric berries for the quarter uh quarters evolution the outerly world spectral spectral Indric as well beware that your uh if you purchase the legion zero outfit style pages and banner emote items with event tickets they are bound to your account meaning you cannot trade them of course, guys, like I said, this is going on from tomorrow, January the 23rd, and running until February the 4th. It starts tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern. Like I said, if you have never played it, it is a PvP event. Uh, you can, Like I said, you can do all kinds of things. Go to Battlegrounds, you can go to Cyrodiil, or you can go 
uh, into Imperial City. You do not necessarily have to just go to Cyrodiil. That's where most people go, but you do not necessarily have to do that. It is a pretty fun event. Even if you're not a PvP player, I recommend you go in there and hop in and play some. Get some, uh, you know, get some boon boxes, of course. You can get your event tickets every day, and it's just a pretty fun experience, pretty much like all the other events we have in-game. It's a good time, and the community gets together and has a, a, a lot of fun doing it, in my opinion. A lot of players really enjoy the Mid-Year Mayhem activities. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts, and of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Uh, if you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. Also, if you have a chance, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. And check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate here on the channel. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs. All their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.